Hi everyone and welcome back to our skill tree series. In the previous episodes we worked on the prerequisites required to unlock certain skills. Now that's all well and good but as part of the UI we want to have these branches, these lines that connect the different skills that light up to indicate and give feedback to the player when these skills become available. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we achieve creating these branches. So in my UI folder I'm going to create a widget and we're going to call it the skill tree branch. And the branch, basically what we're going to do is have a, essentially a border. So it's a, basically it will be a line that we can then stretch out and rotate freely and assign to it which skills it is looking for in order for it to light up. So it's actually quite a simple um, widget here. We're going to put a border in like this and we can leave it white if you want to change the graphics of it you totally can do but i'm gonna leave it white it'll be just basically a white line and that's all i'm gonna do there for now and let's just show you roughly how we're going to place these inside of our panel here now we are using a canvas panel and that's because we want to place these exactly where we want them to go so these skill trees uh points are all tied to the top left we want the branches to also share the same anchor point so let's go ahead and put in our branch in and you can see it's going to have a length to it now the width of this is handled by the size y and the size x over here so we're going to change the size y here to be a lot thinner let's do five like that and on size x we'll leave that free to do as it wants so what I want to do is I want to place this somewhere like here and I want to rotate it around to connect these two together. So first of all, let's get the right length in there. Probably. And the rotation of this is going to be handled by the render transform, which is a thing that all widgets have. It's down here, down the bottom. You'll see the angle down on here. And we can use this to rotate and then reposition our branch as we see fit. We go now we don't want these ugly line clip cutting through all our pretty graphics so what do we do to get it behind there well you can reorder it inside the canvas panel or alternatively we can change the z order and as you can see the z order if we change it to um minus one so it'll stick it behind our icons because these have a z order of a zero so on the z order of our line being uh, minus one it'll put it behind them now, it'd be quite annoying to go around and just type in minus one every time we want to set one of these up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit my skill tree branch and make my life easier. I'm going to go into the graph and on pre-construct, I'm going to edit and tell it to change its Z order on the fly. Now, when you're doing this, keep in mind that this branch and this Z order is part of this section here, the slot or the canvas panel slot that it's part of. So what we need to do is we need to go slot as canvas panel slot. So basically we're telling it like, hey, get yourself and get yourself as a canvas slot. It should do, okay? But because it is now a canvas panel slot reference, we can now change things like the Z order. We can change that to negative one. And I'm putting on a pre-construct. So as I place these into the uh, widget, they will get automatically called and changed on the fly. So to demonstrate that, if I were to put in a different one, there you go, five there, and I can place this in here, and you can see it's going to put itself behind the icon straight away, and you can see the Z order here set to minus one. So it's very useful to understand that you can actually tweak and change these things on the uh, uh, in the widget itself via the pre construct, and that's its whole purpose. Okay, so that's our skill branch kind of done yeah um and you place it out and build out your tree however you want however we need it to light up and change based upon our two connecting uh, uh, icons okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the skill branch if it's graph and we need to give it a variable and this can be the skill icon that it requires in order to light up so we can go to variable required skill 
unlocked. And this is actually going to be a icon widget itself. So we're going to do the W skill slot as a reference here. And in the skill slot, if I go into here again, you can see on the check prerequisites, we have already done a lot of the work here to check and see if the prerequisites have been met. Okay, and we can use this to tell it elsewhere that it's actually been lit up, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to put an event dispatcher inside our check prerequisites on our skill slot widget. This is because we want to communicate from our skill slot to our branch. So event dispatcher and on here we're going to do on prerequisite check. And for this, we want to actually have the input of being a boolean saying yes or not has been met has been met we compile that and then drag it out into our check prerequisites function and on this we're going to do has been met it's going to be this boolean going on from here so i'm going to drag this out and plug that into there okay next we're going to go back to our skill tree branch and on here, we want to change our required skill unlocked to be a reference to the W skill slot. So let's search for W skill slot. It is. I'm going to choose object reference. And we're going to make this editable. And because it's editable, if you scroll down, you'll see in here on prerequisite check is now an option for our events down here. So we can click on this. And we've now got this boolean to help us determine what we should do with our branch here. So on my branch, I need to change the border here to change its color, let's say. So I'll make it variable and we'll just do name it there. So now I can drag out my box branch variable and do set brush color and plug that in. And because we've got this boolean, we can do a select node and do a select color. And A means it's going to be true. So if it has been met, I want it to be white. So we'll do white up there. And for B, we're going to do white again, but this time I'm going to change the alpha here to 0.3. Compile and save that. Now if we test that out in game and unlock our skill, you'll see that it lights up the branch. Now, obviously this is very simple. You can do all sorts of things with different effects and different uh, animations maybe. I, I don't know, whatever you wanna try and do, you can do yourself. But that gives you an idea of what you can do with the branches to light up when you want to unlock the next skill. So there we go, that is the skill tree UI pretty much done. Obviously, you, as I said, you can jazz it up however you like. Um, but in the next episode, what I'm gonna do is I actually wanna show you an actual working example of what happens when we have a skill in our skill tree and how to actually access it and use it and manipulate things like damage or defense or abilities and actually show that in actual practice. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can find all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. A massive thank you to all our patrons and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Without you guys, this would not be possible. So thank you again so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.